Hi there, I'm Louisa. I've been looking through old photographs of um, National Trust properties and I couldn't help but notice how clean their copper was and then I looked at mine and it's really really filthy. So I thought that you might like to join me today just cleaning my copper kettle. Um, just to explain, as I always do, I'm living in a DIY renovation project, hence the look of my kitchen. And to start off with, all I need to do is wash my kettle with warm water. So obviously I would normally do this in a kitchen sink, but as I don't have a kitchen sink with warm water, I've just got a bowl of water instead. Did you hear that when I put the that's whistling away there, it's my whistling kettle. Um, so I'm just going to wash that with warm water. Couldn't be simpler just to get off all the, the dust and, and surface grime. And then I've got this, which is Wright's Copper Cream, which is the one that I always use. And it is so simple and so quick, that it's not going to take me very long at all. So I've had my kettle for oh, a few years now. There's actually an unboxing video on YouTube which I did previously, which I can link to. There's nothing like receiving and opening up a brand new copper kettle for the first time. It was all shiny and it looked absolutely fantastic. So hopefully I will be able to do that again or be able to make it look like that again today. So with my right copper cream, or oh, I must put my gloves on first. So just putting some gloves on to protect my hands. Now I must admit I've got lots of copper pans as well and I actually quite like a tarnished look um, but there's something about my Simplex copper kettle that I just really do like. I'm struggling to put these on because my hands are a bit wet. I should have really put these on before starting but never mind we'll get there. So yeah, I do like my pans to be a bit tarnished, but my kettle, I just really, really love looking all shiny. So I've got the Simplex kettle, which is suitable to put on the hob uh, on my stove behind me. And uh, when I bought it, I did actually contact Simplex just to make sure that I was getting the right one for the job. And they're such a fantastic UK company and their customer experience is brilliant. Let me just dry my hands, that would be a lot, lot easier. And the customer experience is brilliant and they were really, really helpful helping me to select the right kettle. My goodness. <laughs> you didn't think you were going to watch this and just watch me try to put my glove on for half an hour. Hopefully I can get that on soon. It's normally fit like a glove. There we go. It's because my hands are wet. Right. So there's my Wright's Copper Cream. And inside you get a sponge. And all you need to do is just rub this on. And you can see instantly how that is starting to shine. This is a product that Simplex recommend as well I believe doesn't do any harm to the copper whatsoever and so I just keep rubbing away it just looks amazing already when I go to National Trust properties I just always think about how how much effort must have gone in to keep their pans or, or in Victorian times or Georgian times to keep the pans and the copper looking so pristine. Somebody must have worked really hard to do it. My kettle probably gets a clean once every four or five months, which isn't really enough, but it still works even if 
it hasn't had a clean. So there we go, you can see that's really coming up. And, and it just didn't take long at all. Once it's had a good coverage, just need to swill it off again with some warm water, which I will do now. As I said, run it under the um, a warm tap. You don't need to put it in a bowl of water. It is simply because I don't have a functioning tap in my kitchen with warm water. That I'm using this bowl. So that's had a good swell. I just buff it with a clean, clean dry cloth. satisfying. And there, how fantastic does that look? And it really is that simple. So I'll just do the same with the lid. need a lot on to get it clean. I think I'll be ready for a cup of tea by the time I've done this. And I'm sure my tea will taste so much nicer knowing that it's come out of a beautiful, clean, shiny kettle. There. Just give that a swirl. Good buff. The lid back on. And there, that is one beautiful shiny kettle ready to make a perfect cup of tea. I hope you found that useful. I've started doing videos like this. I've only just recently started YouTubing properly. So I'd love you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and um, just to follow my YouTube journey and let me know what else you'd like to see. Thanks for watching and bye for now.